Peculiarities which you might like Well, to there's this to it, Brian, that you see that in those days he, uh, one of the great Italian violinists of those days visited Gordon Castle, where the marshal employed Stabellini by name. If you like, he was the uh, Chrysler of those days. And he saw a peculiar intelligence in mass, uh, compositions. And uh, I think that th this is why Marshall wrote with so much elegance and grace in his beautiful ears. It was influenced by Stabellini. There's no doubt about that at all. So, employing Scottish music. Employing Scottish music. Yeah, what about the man himself as a character? Oh, he, he, he was an extremely clever man. He was a mathematician, a road surveyor, astronomer, clockmaker. Everything that he did was absolutely verging on genius. He made a clock, in fact, that uh, told the tides the dates of the months, uh, the position of the moon, position of the sun in the sky at the various times of the year. And this clock was absolutely a, a showpiece at Gordon Castle, where all, any visitor that came there demanded to see this wonderful clock that Marshall made. Very interesting. Would you play some of this music for us? Uh, yeah, well, no. I'd be awfully pleased to play for some of my friends in Ireland, George McCree, a few of them. And uh, may I play some of these dedicated years for these friends? Yes, indeed. Delighted to do so. What did you like to the name of them? The, uh, the Marcus Huntley? Or? The Marcus Huntley's farewell, that's the finest to be in this country. Like I'm sure it's a well-known Antilly Barton's Reel. I'm sure they know that one. Delighted to play it for all my friends. Okay,